Men at the National Transport and Safety Authority stakeholders meeting talking about different measures that need to be put in place in order to ensure road safety in our roads. Of course, he's talked about taking a multi-sectoral approach, including the issue of digitization of our, of course, um, policies in order to ensure road safety. But moving on, the launch of the technology training on fish value addition in Kisumu by University of Nairobi, WeHab and Kenya Industrial Research and Development Institute, Cardi, is currently taking place. This is aimed at promoting growth of women on the informal food processing enterprises located in coast, eastern, western regions of the country. The first cohort of women from Kisumu and Busia counties will be trained on technology for fried fish products, dried fish products, composite flowers, fish seasoning and business development services. Our reporter Bramwell Buire is following up on that and now joins us live. Bramwell, good morning. What more can you tell us? Good morning, Ashley. As you've said, we're here in Kisumu, and this is the is this is the Kenya uh, Kenya Industrialization Research and Development Institute that is Kirdi that is here in Kisumu. And uh, today we are having the first cohort of women from Busia and Kisumu. And something that I need to tell you here is that this region is entirely known for its ability to produce fish. So in a way, just to ensure that these women get and maximize is the profit they get from the fish product the women here are being trained on how to dry the fish and try to just improve the value they have on the fish so that they can be able to maximize the profit that they are, that they are making here but with me here i have the director i have the director of the institute here director thank you for sparing some time to speak to us on ktn news what are you doing here today and maybe why did you choose on women from busia and kisumu thank you very much now, what we do as an institution, first of all, is we support enterprises to actually develop themselves. Now, we have, we've worked with the University of Nairobi and also other partners to actually enhance the capacity of women entrepreneurs to actually develop products. In this particular case, we are working with them to actually develop uh, products from fish. These include things like uh, daga, Nile patch and also tilapia, so that they can actually enhance the value of these goods. You realize that once they make them into higher value products, they reduce the post harvest losses and also they can be able to get much more better products for their market. Maybe apart from just drying the fish, what else are they getting from the products of fish? They get very many other products from fish because fish, as you look at it, other than consuming it as a source of protein, which is a very high value source of protein, it can also, you can also be able to extract uh, the fish skin. Yeah, then convert it into leather, which is quite a, a high-value material uh, for the local in international market. That is also happening here. That also happens here because within the institution we do quite a number of things. We do value addition to agro-processing materials, but we also engage in very many other areas. Leather is one of the areas where we are actively engaged in, and that's what we try to support these women to actually tell them that you can actually get value from a lot of uh, value from fish and fish products. Yes. Allow me also to speak to Professor, where he is in charge with the WeHub and University of Nairobi. Professor, you, you're here today. Why, why did you choose Kisumu? And maybe why did you choose this just region, eastern, western coast, and, yeah, and uh, Nyanza here? Um, maybe let me begin by saying that we have Kisumu, and well, we know we, did, we deal with fish in Kisumu, and we were very interested in value addition for Kisumu. And uh, I'm glad to say that uh, Belinda here is the chair of one of the groups and uh, yes, the chair of the second group, but we also have Florence, who is the chair of cross-border uh, women in trade, uh, cross-border trade in Busia, and they are here. So, but we are in 16 counties. We are in 16 counties. Kisumu is one of them, Busia is the next one, Trukana. Currently, Shukana actually is also already starting the process, and uh, we are also in Kilifi, uh, where Kirdi is also working with us, Kwale, where Kirdi is working with us, Kitui, and uh, a, a few other places where we are working with Kirdi and KIE at the University of Nairobi. Prof, as an institution, maybe what are you doing specifically to ensure that these women, and maybe are you having any study regarding fish and value addition and everything? That's exactly what we are doing. We are involved in a project of incubating women's enterprises. It's part of uh, your contribution to even the current thinking that 
uh, close to 70%, you know, of uh, our GDP comes from actually women and men in the informal sector. And women are mainly in the informal sector. And working on, you know, value addition, you know, is very, very critical in terms of uh, increasing our GDP, but also improving the women's enterprises. And that is why we are there. Um, we are actually very happy to work with the Kirdi. Uh, because we know what will happen here the, uh, is that uh, the women will have the opportunity to learn, which is, which is happening now, to do technology training. And then Kirdi is also supporting them to begin manufacturing their products to grow them, to grow the women and also uh, make sure that they get a certification from, uh, from CABS as well as uh, learn how to deal with the uh, with the marketing, their products and so on, they will introduce them also to the supermarkets once the products are approved by CABS. So I think it's, it's a, a very big thing that Kirdi is doing in support of the women uh, in terms of value addition. So we are hoping that in two years' time we will see how their businesses have moved, whether uh, providing uh, technical training like this one, technology training, providing marketing, you know, um, set, uh, marketing, and, and you cannot go very far in terms of marketing products unless you have the certification. And then we'll see how they have grown. You can see these are very, I wish you could give them a chance yeah, to I even wonder. say a word or two. Uh -huh. Let, let, me, let, let me speak to mama here. Karibu sana kwa KTN News. Unajihisi aje leo kwamba sasa nyinyi umepata mafunzo haya and will be out there training other women ili tu kuhakikisha kwamba mnapata faida kutoka na bidhaa za samaki. Allow me to take this opportunity to thank uh, we have and uh, Nairobi University and also Kirdi uh, to to give us this chance to empower women economically. Uh, this, this chance we have given with the UN is very important to women because women are the ones who know how people and family are taking care of the everything. So we have already graduated to analog to digital because initially we are using analog means, but right now we, we have already graduated to digital institutions. So I'm happy to use this opportunity in Kredi here, but I'm wondering because I was in this region, but si kujua kama kuna kitu mzuri hapa kirdi, but right now, ni mefunguka macho na nitatumia hizi machine vile inawezekana, na ni nitumie ni, ni hii nafasi mzuri, na furusa hii mzuri pia kuempower women wale wamebaki nyuma. Nimekuja hapa peke e, tatu wa chache, lakuni kuna wengi wamebaki nyuma, but wangepata hii mafunzo, but tunashukuru sana kuch, awa, 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 awa fadhili kujitokea, na pia kutusaidia na kukucha kupata hii mafunzo. Si raisi kupata hii mafunzo, Tunge pata shuleni lakini tulipitwa na wakati but tumeipata wakati huu tutatumia hii nafasi mzuri sana na pia kujiendelesha kimaisha na kifamilia thank you ashley those are some of the sentiments from women and uh, experts here who are training them on how to ensure that they can really improve the value of the fish product they are getting here like this is a this is a, a tilapia that has, is already stored ready to it can uh, how long can this one stay this one can stay for, for 60 days. You see, this is now going to stay for 60 days before. You know, this is one of the most perishable commodities in the market. If it's not stored well, it's not prepared well, then it is going to cause a lot of losses to the women here. You can see here, this one, this one is, uh, this one is uh, Obambo, a very delicacy here in Kisumu. So actually, this is what you are going to focus on the entire day, just speaking with these women, speaking to the experts, just to ensure that uh, we know exactly what is happening at the Kenya Industrial Research and Development Institute. And just to give young men out there, women out there, an opportunity to come here and learn from the government experts at an affordable fee. So from here, Ashley, back to you in the studies. All right, thank you so much, Bramwe Buira, for that. Bramwe Buira, there is.